Dr. Carol Lieberman, joining us live from the United States. Good evening, Dr. Carol. Good evening. Um, I don't know what the American translation is for the word bonkers, but uh, has Meghan Markle got a screw loose? Is she mad? Yes, absolutely, yes. Um, she is a malicious, a malicious, yes, um, a malignant narcissist. Malicious too, a malignant narcissist. She's also also a sociopath, and um, this new Netflix documentary. Uh, which I suffered through for three plus hours, um, getting more nauseous and more drowsy as it went on. Um, she is very dangerous. You know, she's already proven that she's very dangerous. What her one goal in life is to get as much attention as she can. Uh, and she doesn't care who she destroys in the process. Um, you say that, but uh, this is a woman who has spoken movingly about the fact that when she was in the spotlight, serving the royal family, living in the UK, a complete culture shock for her. Uh, she had terrible mental health problems and got no support from the palace. Uh, this woman's been through hell. Oh, yeah, right. I don't believe that for a second. You know, um, we see uh, if, if it wasn't clear before. I mean, first of all, the main thing is I think that she... Uh, and Harry are responsible to some degree for the death of Prince Philip and the Queen because um, Prince Philip died. Yes, he was, you know, of a certain age uh, and in getting in frail health, but he died a month after the Oprah interview. And then the Queen died in anticipation of this Netflix documentary and Harry's book. And I think that the stress, she broke their hearts. And that stress, I think, little, literally led to or at least contributed to their death. So, well, well Carol, um, Carol, let me interrupt. Let any... me interrupt. Carol, just let me interrupt you for a second. Uh, this program is the home okay. of free speech. Uh, and, and I will, of course, give that to you. But, you know, you, you are, of course, a, a highly regarded medical professional and a world renowned psychiatrist. Um, you know, as well as I do, we don't have the evidence that uh, the drama uh, among the Sussexes caused the premature and sad death of the Queen or Prince Philip. Um, but I think it's fair for you to say that it can't have been great for their mental health uh, having to uh, witness all that was going on. Well, you know, there are, I mean, of course we can't say for sure positively at this point, but, but we can say there are certainly studies, long time studies that show that people can die of a broken heart. Mm. Um, and so I, I'm basing it on that. Right. Uh, I, you know, it, it is very devastating to think about and so on. And the, the, um, her sociopathy this, that was on display in particular in this Netflix. I don't know if you saw the documentary yet. Yeah. But, um, you did. So I did. It, it was, it was, it was really, really hard to watch. I mean, the scene you, you referenced, uh, was one of the hardest ones where she makes this, um, you know, makes mocks the queen, uh, making this curtsy, like, oh, I'm supposed to curtsy. And, you know, she has this strange expression on her face. And the one real moment, I mean, the, the, the documentary was filled with lies, but the one real moment was Harry's face when she did that curtsy. And you could see the pain on his face and you could see him thinking, uh, wait a minute, did I make a mistake here? You yeah. know, because he loved his grandmother.